Tonight, a breakthrough in an unsolved murder case in a family finally getting closure after more than 50 years. MTN's Jonathan Ambarian has what you need to know. More than a half century ago, Pamela Ann Dorrington disappeared from her residence in this block of Fifth Avenue in Helena. Dorrington is believed to have been murdered, the case unsolved for decades. But on Friday, the Lewis and Clark County Sheriff's Office announced a new development. You know, I, I didn't know if I would live long enough to, uh, uh, for this time to come. Dorrington's brother Jeff and other family members were on hand as Sheriff Leo Dutton announced Courtney Brooke Atlas, a 79-year-old man already serving a life sentence for another murder, had confessed to killing her. I was excited that we finally were able as a team solve this and bring peace to the community. This is a big deal. Dorrington, a 19-year-old, was last seen on February 17, 1968. Four months later, part of her body was discovered in the water near the gates of the mountains. Atlas was Dorrington's landlord and the main suspect at the time, but nothing could be proven. Detectives Jess Metcalf and James Ward interviewed him at the Shelby prison this week. With approval from Dorrington's family, they eventually offered him immunity from prosecution in exchange for details about the crime. Over a four-hour interview, Atlas admitted he strangled and sexually assaulted Dorrington, then hid her body at an airplane hangar, before dismembering her and throwing her remains into the water at the York Bridge. Detectives say Atlas knew details about the evidence that make clear he was the killer. Him knowing how big the knife was, um, what it looked like, and why it was, you know, recovered where it was, was what led us to that. Law enforcement and family members say it was important to finally find answers for Pamela Dorrington. It was traumatic and terrifying for the whole community. Uh, so it was just nice being able to be part of some of that closure. For 53 years, there hasn't been a day that I haven't thought about Pam. And uh, this has really brought some closure and relief. Atlas has been in prison since 1984, after he was convicted of murdering his wife in the Helena Valley. In Helena, Jonathan Ambarian, MTN News.